Hi second graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your next math lesson. Now we're still working with base 10 units. And today we're gonna dive a little bit deeper with those place value disks. Now remember we don't have place value disks at home, but we're gonna improvise again today. So today we're gonna be talking about how to change 10 ones for a 10, 10 tens for a hundred, and 10 hundreds 4,000 by counting. This is really going to help us out when we start getting more into adding two and three digit numbers. So this is a good skill for us to have. So for this lesson, I want to make sure you have a pencil and paper and something to write with for our application problem. Um, you're going to need a place value chart just written on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, whatever you have, hundreds, tens, ones. And then today for our improvisation, with our place value disks, I want you to get something small that you can kind of pretend are place value disks. Discs. So if you have little cubes at home, Legos, I have some Cheerios here you could pretend to use, coins. For mine, I'm going to use puzzle pieces. Anything small and little that you can kind of manipulate on or move around on like a place value chart. You can see I'm going to put my ones there type of thing. Anything like that, go grab it now. Anything small that we can kind of pretend are place value disks because that's going to be helpful. So pause the video. Make sure you have all those things. Come back when you're ready. Okay. So as usual, usual, let's start off with a warm-up. I'm going to say a number. It's going to be a base 10 number. And I want you to tell me the number that is 10 more. Okay. We're going to do this super lickety split fast. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna snap my fingers, you're gonna tell me. Count by tens if you forget. Use your skip counting skills. Here we go. 10 more than 50 is 60, beautiful. 10 more than 90, 100. 10 more than 130, I'll give you a little more time on this one. I can't count by tens. 130, 10 more, 140, good job. Now we're going to do 10 less. Again, use your skip counting skills. I'm going to give you a number. In base 10, you tell me 10 less. Here we go. 10 less than 40. 30. Good job. 10 less than 70. 60. Awesome. 10 less than 120. I'll give you a second to think about this one. Think about changing that tens place. 10 less than 120. 110, good job. 10 less than 20. 10, beautiful. 10 less than 90. 80, awesome job. All right, get out your paper and pencil for our application problem. For this one, we're going to read it together. I'm going to have you pause, think, pair, share with somebody at home, and then we're going to draw a picture to solve. So let's read it together first. How many packages of 10 cookies can Colette make using 124 cookies? How many cookies does she need to complete another package of 10? So again, this is a two-step problem, two-step word problem. I want you to pause and think, pair, share with somebody at home what those two steps are going to be. So pause, do that now. Got it? So what's first step? What's the first step? Yeah, to figure out how many packages of cookies she can make using 124. I want you to close your eyes for a second and visualize 124. You might picture a number bond. You might picture bundles of hundreds, tens, and ones. You might picture it on a place value chart. However it works in your head, picture 124. Okay, now I want you to pause the video and draw what you saw when you pictured 124. Whether it was a number bond, place value chart, bundles, whatever it was, draw it. Good? Okay, so question one is how many packages of 10 cookies can Colette make using 124 cookies? So let's solve for that first. I want you to pause and solve on your own using your picture, and then we'll come back and go over it. Ready? Okay. So one way to do it would be to make a number bond. We can break 124 into its three units. 124. 
right? 100 plus 20 plus 4. Now, we know that 100 is 10 tens, right? And 20 is 2 tens. So we can add 2 tens plus 10 tens and get 12 tens. So how many packages of cook how many packages of 10 can she make? 12. Excellent. Now, the second part is how many cookies does she need to complete another package of 10? So, we've got 10 and 20 all taken care of. What's this extra 4 doing? We want to get that to 10, right? How many more do we need to get from 4 to 10? 4 plus what equals 10? Good, 6. So how many more cookies does she need to make up another full package of 10? 6. Awesome job. So she can make 10 packages of 10 cookies with, she needs 6 more to make another package. Thumbs up if you solved it that way. Good. Another way we can do it is by drawing a picture with bundles of 10. So we can count from 0 to 124, counting by tens to figure out how many groups of 10. So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Now stop. How many bundles of 10 is that? 12. Very good. Same answer. Now we have four extra ones, right? But we got to get those four extra ones to 10 so we can count on and get 4 plus 6 equals 10. Same idea. Whatever way you solved it, totally good. Drawing a picture does help, though. Okay. Whew. Let's review this. How can we change 10 ones? So say we have 10 little one guys, 10 little puzzle pieces, 10 one blocks. Can we change that to make a larger unit? If so, what? Very good. We can make one 10. If we have 10 ones, we can change it exchange it to 110. Now, when we are have it in a place value chart, say we have 10 little one guys here, where are we moving them? Yeah, we're moving them over to the tens place. We're moving them to the left. Whenever we exchange pieces in its place value chart, you're always going to move to the left. You're moving to the left. If you're taking a bundle of 10, you're going to move it to the left. Taking a bundle of 10, move it to the left, okay? Can you, say we had 10 tens in here, can you exchange that for a larger unit? If so, what? Absolutely. We're going to change that to 100. If we have 10 tens, we're going to move it to the left, change it to 100. What about if we have 10 hundreds? If we have 10 hundreds, what can we exchange that for? We haven't talked about this word in a while. I don't have it on my place value chart, but yeah, we're going to change it to 1,000. We can change 10 hundreds to an 1,000. Awesome. Okay, so this is where you're going to need your place value chart and whatever you're using for your little units. We're going to count from 186 to 300 using our little place value disks. Either they're using cereal, Legos, coins. I'm going to use puzzle pieces because I think they're cute. Whatever you want to use. So your first, and what we're going to do is we're going to be exchanging groups of 10 and moving them over when we can. So your first step is to make 186 on your place value board. Pause and do that now, and I'm going to do the same. Got it? So you should have whatever you're using for place value disks, one in the hundreds, eight in the tens, six in the ones. How many more ones do we need? How many more ones do we need to make a 10? I'm looking here, and this is lined up nicely in a 10 frame for us. So I'm seeing one, two, three, four more spaces. Or I know that six plus four is 10. So we're going to need four more ones. So let's add those four ones on. Four. Okay. So now we have four. Now we have how many ones in the tens place? How many ones in the ones place? Good, ten. So where are we gonna we're gonna exchange that for something? What are we gonna exchange that for? You got it, a ten. So we're gonna take those ones. We're gonna throw them out. We're gonna exchange them for one 
10 piece. So not all of these 10 pieces are not going into the tens place. We're going to bundle them together and exchange them for a 10. So there's only one tens piece going into the tens place. Okay, do you see that? So the ones all come together. They make one bundle, move to the tens place. Okay, now, what number do we have now? Do that on your board too. So your board looks like this. Take your all your ones away, replace it with a 10. Good. Pause if you need more time to do that. So your board should look like this. How many hundreds do we have? Good. And then how many tens? We have nine now. How many more tens do we need to make another 100? We have nine tens. How many more do we need to make another 100? Very good. We need one more 10. So let's add that in there. Okay. Freeze. Now we have 10 tens in the hundreds place. What should we do with those 10 tens? We gotta bundle them up and move them over to the hundreds place. So we're gonna take all of our tens, bundle them, and move them. Go do that on your boards right now. So you should have two hundreds, zero tens, zero ones. Okay, now we're just gonna count now. We're gonna count by ones. We added a 1 in. How many more 1s do we need to get to a 10? Yeah, very good. We need 9. So let's add those 1s in. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Pause again. Do that on your boards. You got it? Okay. So if we have 10 1s in the 1s place, what are we going to do with them? Scoop them up. Exchange them for a 10. Do that on your board. Pause and do that. That may take you a minute. Good. Let's keep going. I'm at 220. Now what am I going to do? I have 10 ones there. Bundle them. Move them over. Do it on your board. Bye ones. We're going to make a 10. All right, fix your boards to make sure you have two hundreds, two tenths. Now we're going to count to 230 by ones. 231. Two, 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 two. Got it? Now we have 10 in the ones place again. What are we going to do with them? Scoop them up, move them over. Do that on your boards. Remember, pause at any time if I'm going way too fast for you on your board. All right, let's keep going. Two fifty, two forty. All right, I'm gonna pause here. You can catch up with me. Pause. Catch up with me. If we have ten ones in the ones place, we're gonna scoop them up and move them over to get to two fifty. Oh. All right, let's count on. Scoop. Ones. Remember, do this on your board. I'm going kind of fast because I'm not moving them on my board. I'm moving them on the screen. If pause and count with me, take your time, go through every step. Okay? I'm going to move these tens over, add another ten. And I'm going to keep counting. Got to the ten stop. I'm going to move them over. Buy ones, add a ten. Now we're at 280. I'm going to keep counting. Now I'm at 10 ones. Scoop them up, move them over. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Here we go. Now I'm at 300, but there are 10 ones in my ones place. So where do the ones need to go? Into the tens. Good. But now I have 10 tens in my tens place. So where are my tens going to go? Once I have 10 tens, I scoop them up just like with the ones. Once you get to 10, you scoop them up, move them over. Anytime you get to 10, scoop them up, exchange them for the next value. So we're going to get rid of these tens and move them over. Now we have 300. Okay? So for your problem set today, you're going to do just what we just did. Use your board. And you're going to count from 582 to 700. Same thing we did. Every time you get to a 10, exchange it for the next value. Okay, when you get to 
590, you're going to answer some questions. Did you make a larger unit at 590? 